Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your TP-Link router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. When the router powers on, the indicator will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slender object to push it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. the other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your Internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Well done on connecting to the router. Now let's go ahead and set it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. If the link doesn't open, or you see a page with a password that you don't know, it means that your router has already been configured and you need to reset it to factory settings. Then you can try to enter the router settings panel again. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. So at first you need to set a password for the personal cabinet of your router. Click on Let's Get Started button. I should also warn you that depending on the firmware version, you may not have some setup steps or they will be in the wrong order. Trust me. You got this. Just watch the video and follow instructions. On the first screen, select your time zone. If you don't remember which one you have, select any and click next. On the next page, select the type of internet connection. Usually it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you don't know, you can try to click on the auto detect button. The router will try to identify what type you have. If it has failed, select Dynamic IP and click Next. Depending on what type of connection you have chosen in the previous step, this page may differ from mine. 
If you have selected Dynamic IP, then choose one of the options on this page. If your ISP only allows internet access to a specific MAC address, you need to clone the MAC address of the primary computer. If you are not sure about your MAC, select Use Default MAC Address and click Next. In most of the cases, there is no need to clone the MAC address. But if you can't get the internet connection after quick setup, please run it again and clone the MAC address for a try. On next page, set name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. You can enable the available modes of your router. There will be one or more modes available. If there are several, enable them and enter for each network the name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. Password must be at least eight characters long. When you write the credentials, click on the next button. On this page, you can configure TP-Link cloud service. Do not touch anything here. Just click skip button. On the next page, you will see all the information that you specified earlier. Just confirm the settings by pressing next button. Wait until the router tries to connect to the internet by itself. If it's failed, check again whether you have connected all the cables correctly. Click skip, then try to reboot your router. But if it's not failed, then check whether the internet is available. Just Google something. If there is no internet, you need to reboot router. For this, go to advanced. Next, select system. Select reboot menu item and click on the reboot button. If the internet still does not appear, you need to log in to the router control panel using the password that you created at the very beginning of the router setup. Select Internet Menu button, and then Clone MAC Address. After that, save the settings. Reboot your router again. After a couple of minutes, check internet connection. If internet still doesn't appear, Contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.